What's up guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, we are installing a camera monitor system from Paragon onto Dora, our fifth gen Ford Explorer. And she's a 2016, but this will work for any 2011 to 2019 Ford Explorers. Again, that's the fifth gens. So let's go ahead and dig on in. So I've got the passenger side camera here and it's cord. I'm going to set it down right here show you guys. This is the plug that will go in and this is our trigger wire aka the wire that we will put on the blinker. And so first things first is you have this little plastic cover that goes on right here. And you just got to get your little pry tool and you can put it back here and pop this off. As you can see, there's three points, one, there, two, and three. So we just set that guy down. And then you have bolts. And these three bolts right here, one, two, and three down inside there, they're all 10 millimeter. So I went ahead and loosened those. Got a 10 millimeter wrench here. And this one down below is a little tricky. So what I suggest is to get it loosened up and then once you can get your finger down in there find you a a magnet so now as you guys can see I've got this one loose and I can reach my finger down here and loosen it some more but to make sure that we don't drop that down into the door, I'm gonna get a magnet. So I've got my magnet there. I've almost got it off. So with a little bit of wiggling, it comes right out and you don't drop it. Perfect. Set that aside. And now we'll take the rest off and the mirror's ready to come on. So again, just this one here. And then this one here. You don't have to worry, the mirror um, is hooked in, so it won't fall off if you take those out. Then we'll go to this other side, and you want to lift up from the bottom and towards the top. And if you have a wind guard like mine, a rain guard, weather guard, it's pretty easy to get it around there. It's got a little wiggle. And as you can see, there's maybe, there we go. And then she should come on out a little bit. There we go. Boop. Just like so. Now we got the plug. So we go ahead and unplug it and then it'll come all the way off. So now we're ready to put the camera, the side camera on our mirror. And to do so, you can use a flathead screwdriver or this pry bar provided works and you just go you want to hit here and then there and then it'll pop right off so go ahead and stick that on in there do this with two hands so once you get that popped off it just slides right on off you set it aside and now since I ran my cord we're gonna put the mirror on and then click that in so let's so the easiest way to run your cord through the mirror is to pull this little foam piece off and there's there isn't anything really holding on it's just molded to it and then you can pull out inside of here try and get some light on it for you guys you can pull this little foam block out and then that will open up the hole where the other cord is running through and so then you just pull it all the way through get your camera click in the bottom pieces and then click in the top piece and then boom the camera on the side mirror is now done and so then you can push this foam back in back into that little hole there just like so 
and then run your cord up there, grab your styrofoam, put the cord for the camera through this hole. Run it all the way through there like so. And then you'll have to put the other plug through there as well. And then once you're done, you put that back on and then we will mount this mirror. See, so we've got the phone back on, I've got the plug, and I've got the new camera wire. Make sure you put it through this hole where the plug goes before you put the mirror on. All right, so once you get your mirror put back on, you got the one bolt here, one there, or I'm sorry, one nut here, one nut down there, and one bolt here. And they're all 10 millimeters. And so now you can see that I've got my um, stock wires plugged in, the camera wire right here, and it's running down. So there we go ready to move on to the next one don't forget to go ahead and put this uh little cover corner piece back on let's go ahead and line it up click it on in and there you go all right so to install the mirror it's pretty easy we have a couple straps here little velcro straps and what we will do is slide those through with the smooth side of the velcro facing up towards you and then you want the actual velcro side to be facing down so that you can put it through the loop like so and then turn it back on itself and then it'll stick so let's go ahead put this puppy up here and to do so I'm gonna slide that that one over and then that one and as you can as you can see there now it's ready to be tightened down so let's go ahead and we're going to tighten down just a little bit to show you guys so we've got my wires ran here and if we come under here you can see that the wires plug into the bottom and then i run them along the back and up through this little molding and to get that off all you got to do is pull it up and then it pops the bottom out like so and you can just slide it over and it slides on out so that will make it a nice clean install and then i'm just going to run these wires all the way along up here and go down so again we're going to run the wires from here all the way along this edge come down oh keep going down keep going down and then we're going to bring it across under the dash put it into the glove box here I know you guys can't see that but there's a plug there I got a wire mess so let's get to finishing this up. all right so we're gonna remove this pillar panel piece and to do so it's really easy all you've got to do is if you have a pry bar you can use that but I was able to just get my fingers in right under there at the top pull it down and then you just keep pulling on it. You want to be careful because your airbag is right there. And then the trick is you have to pull it inwards towards the center of the car and then pull it upwards. It's kind of it's kind of a real trick. But There you guys can see that piece that's there. So to get that last piece out, you want to kind of pull it up and out because that's you're pulling it up and out of that little hole. So okay, so I've ran two of my wires across the top here, and they come down through here. Grab my light and one of them i ran along the side and then down this side and there you can see it and it goes all the way down to the bottom and then this is going to be the wire that i run up through here and um 
right now I'm just looking at my wires to connect. This is the passenger side camera. So right now I have it ran to run your wires. I've got, I don't have this installed yet. So I have it sitting here, ran through the hole. And then I ran it down through the side of the door panel here. So it's run all the way down to right there for now. Okay, so to secure our wire here, I have it running behind the door panel there. And the reason I'm not going to go through the door in this is because going through these are, they're such a pain that it's not, it's not really worth doing because I have three wires that are bigger than these on the other side that go to my light bars. And they've been there for a year and they don't pinch they don't get caught but what i did on that side is i went ahead and i secured it around this loop the tube with some zip ties and so that's what i'm doing now i'm going to go ahead and pull a little bit more slack out right here and we're just going to round it around like so so that it runs just like that and then we'll be good to go so as you can see, I have one zip tie done. I will get another one put here and then one put around the bottom there. So we'll have three in total. And these are actually, I actually have two zip ties together because these are the only black ones that I have. So I have two of them together wrapping around it and it fits. So that's how you can secure that line. There we go. Now I've got our three zip ties that wire is secured. And now it's just gonna run right along here through there and it's not gonna pinch i promise it's not gonna pinch this way it'll be great so now we're just gonna clean that up i'm gonna take my snips here and cut off the extra end of the zip tie and boom looking great all right so to remove this kick panel all you gotta do real easy stick your fingers right back here pop this off and then just pull it up a little bit and that gets it out of the way enough to where you can reach in here and pull this pin out and what you do get that pin out just like so and you're able to fold down the carpet just like that get you access to your wire and then I've just ran it up behind this cord, this panel, because what I'm trying to do is I am, this is our trigger wire. So I've got my trigger wire in my hand and that wire needs to be alligator clamped to this yellow and violet or purple, whichever you call it wire and that guy is right here so to find it if you find this which is the wire that will run to the door and you can verify it by checking up here and right there that end cord this one right here is yellow violet and so it's running through here and happens to be our guy right there so that is our yellow violet cable that we need to alligator clamp our trigger wire to. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Okay, so our alligator clamp here, the way that this works is you put the wire, the trigger wire that I've got right here, the brown wire. We're going to put it in that hole, which is the end that does not go all the way through. And then we'll put the yellow and violet cable through this side that does go all the way through then we'll close this down and clamp that over all right now we got the trigger wire in on the one side and you can see it's all the way through right inside of there and then we've got the yellow and purple cord cable through there and so now all you got to do is squeeze that down a little bit with your fingers and turn it like so Grab your some pliers and then just pinch.
pinch it. And then just like that. Fold this over. And that'll just snap on. And now that is wired in. So we'll just go ahead and push these all aside. Push that carpet back. Oh yeah, there's it. So we'll go ahead and put that back on. Put our pin back in place. Put back in place and boom, there we go. All put back together. All right, now we got all that button back up, and now I've gotten this buttoned up. Got my wires. I like to zip tie them, but be careful because these are vacuum lines, so I didn't do it tight. They're just loosely on there, just to hold them steady. Got the power wire ran, and it's hooked up up here now. So. To run your power wire, let me grab my light. I've got it plugged in right here and run along the side. So then you can still close this. And then I just ran this wire right inside that crack. And then from there, I you can pull. Oh, sorry pull this panel off just back here if you grab a hold of it it just pops right off so then I was able to grab the wire from right about here where it's sitting pull it all the way through and then I ran it up behind this all the way along there and then it went it went up up inside of here up along the side and then all the way so now I'm gonna put this back on on the front and then all of our wires are ran ready to go and then it's time to plug the mirror in the mirror camera in and so to put it back in all we're gonna do is go ahead and slide that right on in there just like you can like that you want to be sure to get this tab to go on the inside of this rubber seat so that everything goes back nice and neat just like that Got it all lined up. Nice little tap. Fix that road piece. Boom. It's on and secure. Good to go. There we go. Those wires are all ran. Looking good. Put everything back together. And now I'll show you guys how I'm doing the back camera wire. So what I did there is I ran it up through here. And I just pushed it back. And now you can see I've got it to the back door. And the rest of it sitting here in the chair with me. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to run it along this edge all the way back and then come out the back somewhere. When we get there, I'll right, show so you. So the back, I showed you guys there was running around there and right through here. And now I've got it up here and I'm just tucking it in. And so what I want to show you guys though is that there is plenty of extra wire here and so what i did is i i'm gonna keep running it and right here the wires go up and out and as you can see i've got mine ran through there so i pulled this out and i made a little bit of a little hole yeah, a little. that way i can plug the drop this camera wire right down behind this guy and then I can mount it on top so let me get let me show you guys that and we'll be able to 
easily plug them in together. Okay, so now I've got the double side stick foam on the top and you can tell it's the top because on the bottom it has these little clips. I've got the shark fin in my other hand and what we're going to do is pull this tape off, the cover on the top, and then it's going to stick right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm holding this in place. We're going to let it get sticking. And as you can see, imagine this sitting on the back, but I want to see if I can show you guys the camera up front there. Or aka the new mirror. What is it? It's working pretty darn good. So you guys can see. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna see my phone over there. Checks out. Now it's time to go ahead and put this guy. Alright, so I am wiring back. And I put it through this hole right here and tied it through there. And I earlier I had it going through there, through that little hole. And instead, I'm actually gonna wire it up a little bit higher because I really don't want any water to come in here and go into my headliner. So I've now got it wired through there. And I I did that by just taking my metal hanger here my little hook stuck it through this top hole went down to the little one down at the bottom pulled it up and so now what i'm gonna do is slip over oh if i can find it this little heat shrink so we're gonna slip over our heat shrink right on over this end hopefully with one hand here it's a little tricky dropped it <laughs> see if I can do this and film it there we go just gonna try and stick that guy all right so there we go I've got this line from the top I can go ahead now push that back in there get it to sit right and the easiest way is to kind of pull the wire back down through and then get one one of these sides here to catch just like that and keep working it in Once you do get it far enough in there, go ahead and reach under here and you can grab a hold of it and pull it nice and tight. Stick our wire back inside. And then, boom, there's our top back on. No problem there. We're now ready to connect these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is just an easy coaxial cable. So you get them lined up. I got my, my shrink wrap kind of in the way. There we go. Go ahead. Connect those, start screwing it in. Like so. So that's nice and tight. It's good to go. Get it hand tight. Two hands is plenty for this. You could go get a tool and do it, but I've found that just doing it by your hand is perfectly okay. I'm going to slide this shrink tubing over it. 
and we'll get a, a little lighter and heat this up. Here we go. So I'm going to be kind of gentle about this. Just going back and forth and as you can tell it's shrinking up. What this is going to do is completely weatherproof that connection. So you will not have to worry about water or anything getting in there. this and this is kind of a mock-up right now of where it's gonna go but you can see I, I'm trying to center it and now that I've got it plugged in before I put this down all the way I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna go look at the camera inside and see what it looks like all right well there we go guys now you can see the everything behind me and I actually really like that spot so I'm gonna go ahead and go use the 3m tape lock it down make sure that's where where I'm gonna have it for good and then we're gonna come in here and button up um, a little bit here there's a little clip that we can put on there cover up those wires but that looks pretty dang good and then we might adjust our our camera on this side so let's get to it so there's our view with our mirrors there's our view with our side camera pretty sweet pretty excited to go give it a test yes all right there we go We've got our side mirror on the passenger side done the rear view done everything checks out and we got all the wires covered. Everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and check out this back. Cause I just got this put on. So there we go. I went ahead and wiped it down and got stuck on there, nice and centered. And if we can see inside there, you'll see me being a goofball and making a video. Ooh. If this how-to video helped you guys out, Please smash that like button. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button. And drop those comments down below. Let us know if it did help you. Have a great day. And we will catch you in the next one.